I am turning off my curling iron. I just finished my hair. Um, mm, very pretty. I'm trying to like get my life together a little bit more often. Oh, I got dark. Um, I just did my weigh-in this morning, uh, but I have a lot of errands to run. I slept in today. It's Friday, July 7th, and it's 10.30, and I'm just going to have like an omelet, like the typical stuff that I always do. Um, and I'm going to do that. I have to go to the DMV, and I have to also... Um, and I have to also go to the doctor later on today. So I posted a video uh, regarding uh, going to the UCLA Medical Center the day that I went with my sister and just wanted to update you guys that I actually need to go to my primary doctor before I can get a referral to that specific place. Um, so I'm gonna try and take care of that today because I really wanna start the process. Um, and then once I kind of know exactly what's going on or what's happening, then I'll let you guys know, just like I, you know, just like a little update. And after that, I'm going to pick up Mr. CJ. So if you haven't noticed by now, Mr. CJ is spending a lot of the summer with his dad and his dad's side of the family, which is why he hasn't been in a lot of my videos. And, um, oops, oh, I just hit myself. I'm gonna try and serve myself while I talk to you guys. And I don't do a good job at that, apparently, because the camera's all in my face. But he is spending a lot of time over there. And um, I'm excited because tomorrow is my mom's birthday and it's time that I see him and it's time that he spends the day with me and my mom. We're gonna all, um, all my sisters and I are gonna split the time with her and spend different days uh, separately with her. So I wanted to take my mom out to eat tomorrow and spend the day with her and I wanted to bring Cyrus along. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna pick him up until like way later because like I said, I have a lot of things I need to take care of. And serving myself breakfast is just, with one hand, it's just not working out. So I will take you guys along for today and um, first stop after I eat this is definitely the DMV because I need to get my registration for my car and I had paid it about two weeks ago or about a week and a half ago and then realized that I needed a smog and I, I don't know how I missed that. So I got the smog, so I'm gonna try and go in because I don't wanna wait for them to mail me the registration renewal sticker. Um, I'd rather just go in and if, it, I'm, usually it's really busy in the morning and it's still busy now, but I think it dies down a bit. So I wanted to sleep in and wait anyways and get ready and, and all of that good stuff. So I will bring you guys along with me. I am so aggravated right now. So I drove by the DMV by my house and it turns out that they um, have a line like out the door and it's almost 100 degrees and so I don't want to sit there outside. So I go to the DMV, the other DMV, that is a smaller DMV and I remember one time they told us that, that like they do less transactions but for what I need it's perfectly fine. And now they're telling me that by less transactions they mean only driver's license transactions. And then I need a car registration renewal so I'm so, let me put you down. Car that pulled up against me and is all being annoying. I'm just annoyed. <laughs> I cannot believe. Okay, so as I was saying, by um, less transactions, they only mean like driver's license. And I'm like, <laughs> that's it? You guys are just doing driver's license transactions? <sighs> so I have to drive back and I'm now I'm debating whether I even wanna go um, to the other location because I don't want to stand out in the sun, but I don't want to get pulled over and I will most likely just get like a fix-it ticket But I don't want to go through all that just to get a fix-it ticket I probably would have to go to court for that day and just prove that I didn't and I wouldn't have to pay anything But $25 so I don't want to pay the $25, but I don't want to get pulled over and Honestly, like my friend got pulled over once for a similar situation like this where he had paid his registration fees However, um, he was waiting for, for them to get in the mail and it like overlapped to the next month um, It was like by a few days only and the officer was very kind and he goes I could give you a fix a ticket He's like, but I did look you up and you are like fine like your your title registration your insurance everything's good to go so just put that on as soon as possible but that's like not every police officer and I don't want to go through that and the only reason I'm in this mess is because I genuinely did not realize about the smog <laughs> so it's like when I went to go get the smog check they say oh we're gonna send it electronically to DMV 
um, if you've already paid your fees and they're just gonna automatically send you your tags via the post office which is fine except my registration expires tomorrow I mean I still have the rest of July technically they don't have to pull me over I you know it's not like I'm overlapping to the next month where it's extremely obvious but in case they do I don't want to deal with a fix-it ticket because that takes up more of my time so I'm debating I'm hoping that I drive back and the line got a little smaller and I'm just debating just sucking it up and standing out there until I get to see someone just to pick up a tiny little sticker and that's where I'm at okay just so you guys have an idea what I'm talking about that's the line like it goes all the way around the building Ah. Okay, let's go. Um, I left and made an appointment for next Friday instead because it's way too hot. I was there for 10 minutes and realized that the line didn't even end there. The reason it looked like it ends there is because there's nothing but sun after that and then there's another part of the building that has shade so the line continues there and I'm like, oh, so it's actually longer than I thought. So I'm out. I made an appointment for next Friday. If I get pulled over, it'll just be a fix-it ticket, and hopefully I get an amazing cop that will just be like, okay, you took care of business, it was just a stupid misunderstanding. Or maybe I might just even get him in the mail before my appointment, because, you know, everything's done electronically, and he did say that they were going to send my information, my pass uh, smogged, um, information to DMV, so hopefully that works. to go get my pedicure instead because when you have that much time set aside thinking that you were going to be at the DMV no, things happen so I went to the 99 cent store I'm going to show you guys when I get home what I got and I'm going to make a pit stop at Target and then um, buy me some coffee um, I'm actually going to buy it here and make it at home yeah that's what I'm going to do Here is my haul. <laughs> my haul. Um, I got some pork chops. They were 10 chops for $10. Thought that was a pretty good deal. I got me some Halo Top. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I immediately posted my ice cream obsession. I'm obsessed with these. They taste delicious and they fit right into my keto diet. And I don't abuse them actually. I eat very little and they last quite some time. I got some more Chameleon Cold Brew uh, Caramel Coffee. I don't know if I tasted this one. I can't keep track of which ones I've tasted. So I got this one. I also got let's see um, avocado ranch let's look at this total carbs two grams for two tablespoons that's like a good amount of course I also got some more heavy whipping cream I've noticed that the organic rising heavy whipping cream is my favorite of all I've tried some of the like up not up and up but uh, the great value from Walmart um, I forgot what other brands but like non-organic or other brands so I got I thought I got two of those. Oh yeah. I got avocados, of course. I got this, because I want to make this with the um, asparagus, diced tomatoes with habaneros. It was 68 cents, so I figured, why not? I got some diced tomatoes roasted, fire roasted. I've got some chili sweet, super sweet mini peppers. I got some queso fresco, because this is delicious. I've got some asparagus, and I've got some deep cleaning pore strips, because these satisfy my every need. From the 99 cent store, I got, not this, this is mine. I've got some more of these um, eyebrow trimmers. They're called the eyebrow and bikini line trimmers, but I only use them for my eyebrows. Um, you know, when you're in a rush, and I also use them for my mustache. Um, I shave going towards the hair, not against it, so it doesn't grow back thick. I also bought these, they're called um, Adhesive Butterfly, Who you can see me, Butterfly Decor. They are so pretty, and they kind of match my um, theme that I'm going for in the living room, so I figured if I don't start getting like little items that I want, it's not gonna start coming together. You know, nothing has to be super expensive. This is one dollar. I got this uh, for the extra spare key. I figured since Mr. CJ probably uses it most, 
the Iron Man keychain. I got some Yardley Sensitive Skin Shea Buttermilk Soap. I got some Clairol Leave-In Conditioner. I wanna try this. I wanted to get more than one, but I wanna try it first to see how it works. I got some frozen rings for my baby niece because I want her to be fabulous like her auntie. And to match the rings, I got some frozen bracelets. Why is this not zooming in pretty? Isn't this cute? Isn't this cute? And then I got a new toothbrush. I love getting my Colgate toothbrush at the 99 cent store. They work perfectly fine. And last but not least, some Nivea cream because I have the EOS one, but honestly, this works so much better. I got the other one as a gift, so I'm using it up, but I love this Nivea cream and it's only 99 cents. I'm gonna have some late lunch. I had a late breakfast, so I guess a late lunch. The other night I made some like ground beef with mixed veggies and my own little concoction, diced tomatoes and all that good stuff. And I put some queso fresco, avocado, a little bit of sriracha, and that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. With, of course, my water. Off I go. Um, it is now 3.16, and my appointment is at 4 p.m., but I had to eat something before um, I left. I actually got a phone call confirming my appointment, and they wanted me to come in earlier. So I'll be probably like 30 minutes earlier, but I couldn't leave right out of Target because A, I had all my groceries, and B, I really wanted to eat something because I... I I wasn't starving, but I was feeling a little hungry, and I, I thought to myself, okay, if I go to, straight to the doctor, it's going to be another hour, hour and a half, I'm going to leave like super, super hungry, and if you pay attention to your body, and you pay attention to those cravings, sometimes, for me personally, those cravings really kick in when I'm starving, then I'm just like, I just want everything, and um, I don't always necessarily crave um carbs when i'm starving but i won't eat my healthy fats that keep me satisfied and that is key to being on keto is your healthy fats so i had to make sure i get them in so that i could be fully satisfied and now i am so i'm gonna head out and bring you guys with me i just want you all to see that it is 113 degrees it was 115 it went down two degrees, but that is why I did not want to stand at the DMV earlier today. You're oh. gonna fall nah, nah. walking backwards. Nah, nah. Yes, you are. It's March, mommy. I don't even have enough fingers to come out that. I think high. everyone has missed you so much. Mm -hmm. They have. <laughs> they have. Missed all of them. And I missed all of them. Ah! Since see, you all remember that. He just noticed. Oh, that's right. They haven't seen our decoration, huh? This family it's so dark here. I need to get a light for this part of the house, the living room. Do your family actually give us food? Love makes our house a home. And this one says Family gives us family gives us roots and wings. Wings. It's like metaphorically. I don't have wings. I know, it's not literal, like you're literally gonna grow wings from the back of your head. It's more of wings to Go and be successful and to be free. Oh, yeah. that good stuff. Perfection is freedom. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I only got that from Tron Uprising. You only got that from what? Tron Uprising. Perfection ah, is freedom. Perfection is freedom. No, it's not. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I dropped my purse. I dropped my purse, guys. That's right. Uh, all right, go get them out, please. Thank you. It has been a long day. It's almost going to be 8 o'clock. I've been busy, 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 busy today. Um, but I knew it was going to be a busy day, so I figured it was perfect to vlog since I hadn't vlogged in quite a few days. Um, long story short, my friend is no longer staying with me, and I really don't want to get into it too much. Um, 
it just didn't work out you know sometimes personalities are just not meant to be and I was hoping that he wasn't like super close to me he was decently close but because he lived in Northern California we didn't every time we spent time together it was for brief moments so I thought it was gonna be a great opportunity to like get to know each other on a different kind of level um, while he spent the summer here vacationing um, but unfortunately like I said it did not work and um, I think I made the best decision by by having him leave um, because I think I was gonna we're probably gonna be one of those situations where you like end up hating someone because of it um, and yeah that's that I don't like I said I don't really get into it because um, you know his time here was interesting I definitely did have some great times um, but towards the end like I said I just kind of stopped vlogging because it just it just didn't work out so that's that moving on to my medical appointment uh, my primary care physician I got good news I was he was able to tell me that he can actually give me the author authorization that the surgeon needs so hopefully he said about in a week I should be hearing back from my clinic and they should be giving me the information to proceed to the next step and hopefully just move forward and get this procedure that I need done I have an idea of what I need but I just want to confirm one more time before I say anything because I just I just don't know and I I don't want to put something out there that may not you know I'm not a professional and and I just kind of want to bring you guys through the process so just know that I'm working, I'm following up on something that I was diagnosed with quite some time ago. And long story short, maybe in a different video, I'll, like, I'll sit down and do a chit chat about it with y'all. But for now, that is the update. So it's been good news. Don't worry. <laughs> I will tell you guys eventually. Um, and I'm going to call it a night. Mr. CJ is back. <laughs> But, um, yes, I'm going to say good night, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to follow me on all my social media at I am Lolo, and don't forget to subscribe.